Josh from Cyclone Souls, and here is your detailed weather forecast update for Saturday, the 7th of June 2025. A detailed one coming your way today. Plenty of showers, storms, and rainfall on the way across southeastern Australia. More cold fronts inbound for southwestern Australia, and a little bit of rainfall on the way for far north Queensland as well. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and also leave a like on the video while you're at it. But let's get stuck straight into things this morning with a look over in southeastern Australia. It's a turbulent picture with multiple low pressure systems swirling around each other, delivering much needed rain in a significant fashion across Victoria and South Australia. Uh, drought uh, impacted communities are rejoicing at this rainfall that's coming through today with plenty more rainfall still to come this weekend and into early next week. Here's a look at the satellite picture with the radar imagery overlaid and some wind observations thrown in there as well. We've got one noticeable low pressure system and if we go to the latest frame you can see it quite distinct distinctively here just off the, uh, the southeast coast of South Australia about 150 kilometers towards the 150 nautical miles rather towards the south of Kangaroo Island. This is rapidly barreling up towards the northeast and it's expected across the coastline shortly. I've got another low pressure system further towards the south of Tasmania. Now this is kind of the one that's driving this rainfall in. It's the one that slingshotted this low pressure system up from the southwest and it's the one that's brought the rainfall over the last 24 hours as well. Plenty of showers in the mix of these systems as well. Showers moving into the uh, Port Phillip Bay and the Melbourne area right now, some of which are quite heavy. They're definitely, uh, uh, there's definitely a lot of rainfall now moving into this area here with some pretty healthy rainfall rates embedded in there as well. Some large showers also moving into the northwest regions of Tasmania around Launceston uh, and some significant wind observations as well. 58 kilometres an hour right now at Mount Buller and wind observations. They're rapidly climbing this morning. 45 kilometres an hour at both Port Lincoln and Kangaroo Island. Wind observations there also rapidly climbing at this point in time. Temperatures are a lot warmer though this morning than what they have been over the last couple of days. The only sub-zero temperatures that we're looking at right now are in the high country. Ballarat, however, down to two degrees last night. Uh, certainly a cold one, that's for sure. Temperatures will rise a little bit today, but we're not expecting to, it to be warm, put it that way. Let's talk about this rainfall right now and what's going to be happening from it. Now, this low pressure system here is going to be the next main driver of the rainfall into southeastern Australia, and it's found itself a little bit further north than where the forecast models were suggesting so much like a tropical cyclone forecast where uh, the low pressure systems movement does actually have a pretty big impact on where the rainfall is going to be. Because this is such a concentrated extra tropical cyclone and emphasis on extra tropical there, which means that this is a non-tropical uh, cyclonic system or a rotating low pressure system. Uh, because it is a small one, the rainfall is going to be quite concentrated around the center and any uh, discrepancies between the track forecast does mean uh, some pretty big ramifications in terms of rainfall accumulations across the expected impact site. Now, what that means in this particular case here is with this low pressure system now no longer expected to get itself set up in the Greta, into the uh, Bass Strait, we're expecting this rainfall here to be dragged a little bit further north and accumulations will be marginally lighter along the coastline. However, we will likely see uh, the same or even slightly more rainfall uh, into more uh, regional areas into Victoria and South Australia. Rainfall accumulations will likely be slightly higher through some of the agricultural districts. So all in all, it isn't a bad thing that the system is now tracking a little bit further north. And the showers are coming through right now and the speckled weather that we're seeing, the speckled cloud and the speckled showers that are coming through in the wake of the main low pressure system which is to the south of Tasmania. That's the type of weather that we're expecting for the next two to three days at this point in time. So let's take a look at the rainfall forecast right now. Showers expected to pick up throughout the course of today. We could see the odd storm or two on the northern side of that second low pressure system swinging up into the southeast of South Australia. Rainfall will pick up across much of Victoria, especially into regional Victoria around Ballarat and Bendigo uh, through this afternoon and evening and we could be seeing some moderate falls in those regions regions as well. Moderate falls tending locally heavy at times into the high country around Victoria and at New South Wales through later tonight into early tomorrow morning and we could be seeing some very heavy snow blanketing the high peaks through tonight and into early tomorrow morning as well. Rainfall swinging up into the Melbourne area through tomorrow morning. It could actually get quite heavy at times from uh, the, the showers that are going to come through through tomorrow morning. Slowly easing off through tomorrow afternoon. Still showers lingering through Monday and into Tuesday. Rainfall finally clearing out by Tuesday afternoon by the looks of things. Just a few heavy showers expected here and there before another cold front or series of cold fronts comes through next Wednesday and Thursday. For the most part, the worst of the rainfall will be happening tonight into early tomorrow morning, uh, clearing through tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening, and the worst of the rainfall, or the most of the rainfall actually clearing through Monday morning and into Monday afternoon. A few showers still lingering here and there. For Melbourne, the heaviest falls will be coming through tonight and into early tomorrow morning, uh, clearing by around midday. And for Adelaide, the worst of the rainfall looks to be behind them, or at least coming through in the next couple of hours. Uh, not too much in the way of rainfall expected through tomorrow and into Monday and into Tuesday. A few showers still lingering here and there through um, uh, tomorrow and into Monday 
Sunday, but for the most part, rainfall clearing out of Adelaide through tomorrow uh, by the looks of things. Hobart's another interesting factor here on the forecast. We did have some pretty significant rainfall accumulations on the forecast for the East Coast if that low pressure system got itself stuck in the Bass Strait, but considering that no longer looks too likely at this point in time, rainfall accumulations for Hobart, much of the East Coast of Tasmania, not looking too heavy at this point in time. 25 to 50 millimetres at the tops uh, or at the top end of the forecast, and that's going to be spread over about four or five days. Let's talk about those rainfall accumulations right now because they are an important factor on the forecast. So this is four day rainfall accumulations, taking this out to Tuesday, which is when the rainfall is expected to finally clear out of southeastern Australia, at least as a result of this weather event here. Some good falls is all I can say across much of Victoria, parts of South Australia and the east coast of Tasmania. This is really healthy stuff. And again, I imagine this is getting farmers and people in the agricultural communities very, very excited at this point in time. We'll start in the north and head slowly further south. You can see through the... Uh, uh, Spencer Gulf, I believe it is, uh, around Port Lincoln and up towards Wyala and Port Augusta. We could be seeing rainfall accumulations there up as high as around 25 or 30 millimetres through Adelaide. A further 25 to 30 millimetres is expected, the majority of that coming through in the next couple of hours. Rainfall accumulations between 25 to 50 millimetres expected tonight into tomorrow morning across the southeast coast of South Australia and then falls between 5 to 15 millimetres expected north to about where the Victorian border comes across. Rainfall accumulations north of those locations and through much of the Air Peninsula aren't going to be be too heavy, just a couple of millimetres at most on top of what has already fallen for those locations. The Air Peninsula has picked up some reasonable rainfall accumulations over the last couple of hours. Falls into the northwestern parts of Victoria are going to be lighter between 5 to 15 millimetres, nothing too flash expected out there. Falls will be heavier between 10 to 50 millimetres uh, as you get further south of about Bendigo by the looks of things. Rainfall accumulations along the south coast of Victoria, widespread between 50 to 80 millimetres, extending from Mount Gambia across to Melbourne. Falls around the Melbourne area, depending on what comes through tonight into early tomorrow morning could be as high as 80 millimetres over the next four days and moderate falls between 50 to 120 millimetres expected across the high country in Victoria and into New South Wales. Again, a lot of that is going to fall as snow. Some heavy snowfall accumulations are on the cards and I'll get to that in just a hot second. Into the southeastern corner of Victoria, we're expecting falls between 25 to 75 millimetres. Rainfall will be at its heaviest along the coast, especially around Mallacoota and Bernsdale. Rainfall accumulations will be a little bit lighter as you get further down into the Bass uh, Strait kind of coastline area there. And then falls between 25 to 75 millimetres expected along the east coast of Tasmania, with the heaviest accumulations expected south of Hobart through Kingston and then uh, down uh, through Bruny Island and then down to about uh, Mount Psycho Island, I believe it's called. Further south there, rainfall accumulations will be at their heaviest and falls could be as heavy as 100 millimetres into some of the mountainous regions around the Ben Lomond National Park. Rainfall accumulations through New South Wales, the agricultural regions expecting between 2 to 10 millimetres of rainfall. Heavier accumulations expected south of Griffith and Young down around Wagga Wagga and Arana. Rainfall accumulations for those areas could be between 10 to 50 millimetres. Albury and Wagga Wagga both expecting at least 30 millimetres of rainfall in the next four days. So some healthy falls there as well. Again, it just feels funny talking about these rainfall accumulations, not only because we haven't had rainfall for so long, but considering the uh, swing in the climate that we've had over the last couple of uh, weeks, especially because it's turning to winter, of course, but 30 millimetres is now a lot of rainfall for southeastern Australia, whereas 30 millimetres wouldn't even make the cut for a cyclone, so I was forecast up in far north Queensland a couple of months ago. It's just funny to me. I'm not sure if that's the case for everybody watching the video at this point in time, though. I just thought I'd make mention of it. Let's talk about snowfall accumulations. Now it's expected to pipe up tonight, and we're expecting some heavy falls. That's the shore ski resorts will also be rejoicing in this forecast here. Up to 40 centimetres expected through the high country uh, in New South Wales. 40 centimetres expected above about 17 or 1800 metres. And falls between 20 to 40 centimetres expected through the high country of Victoria as well. Above uh, sort of about 1200 metres, 20 to 40 centimetres of snow expected there. Snowfall making it as far down as about five or 600 metres as well. We're expecting snowfall uh, into early tomorrow morning to be as low as about 600 metres or so. It could get a little bit lower, especially as we had a little bit further south outside of Melbourne and into the Dandurong uh, uh, Mountains. Snowfall could be as low as about 500 metres, but I wouldn't expect it to get any lower than that. A couple of dustings of snow also expected outside of Bathurst and Orange and snow potentially making it as far north with some showers up there into the Barrington Tops and outside of Tamworth and Armadale into the Blue Mountains. We could be seeing a few uh, flurries of snow there, but again, I wouldn't be getting your hopes up for anything significant. 
Wellington, it will be good to see a bit of snow there. And interestingly, not much snow or not much in the way of snowfall accumulations expected for Tasmania. Because this low pressure system is actually going to pass north of Tasmania, the temperature is going to be slightly warmer for Tasmania because on the eastern side of the system, we're going to have this warm air dragged around on said side of the system. And as such, temperatures expected to be slightly warmer around the Tasmania area uh, compared to where they're going to be for Victoria and New South Wales. And I can illustrate that quite accurately with the temperature forecast. This is Sunday morning where temperatures should be at their lowest. Temperatures across Tasmania slightly higher, uh, just a couple of degrees higher than where they're going to be for Victoria and New South Wales. It will be a cold start tomorrow morning, even with rainfall around, which is why we're expecting snow down to low elevations, because there is just going to be so much cold air moving in from the south. Certainly will be one of the coldest weekends of the year, at least we're hoping so, because we don't want to get uh, see temperatures get much colder than this. That would be just way too unpleasant, that's for sure. But it is winter at the end of the day, and we do expect these type of temperatures and these type of systems to come through at this point in time. Anyways, a long-winded forecast for southeastern Australia. Beyond that, we do have a little bit more rainfall on the cards beyond Tuesday, especially with cold fronts coming through Wednesday and Thursday and then next weekend. And into early next week, rainfall accumulation is expected to continue to pile on for coastal regions. But it will be southwestern WA's time to shine once again. There's not an awful lot in the way of rainfall coming through in the next uh, couple of days. We will see another cold front brush up from the southwest on Monday and into Tuesday, which could deliver some heavy periods of rainfall to the southwest capes and into the south coastal regions. Again, with those sea temperatures, still very warm. We'll be seeing some heavier than usual showers associated with these cold fronts, but rainfall not penetrating too far inland. And in fact, not penetrating too far north either. Perth not expecting anything in the way of significant rainfall accumulations either. A couple of days we'll go, uh, we will go without seeing cold front activity before it pipes up again on Monday and Tuesday, the 16th and 17th of uh, June respectively. And we could be seeing some heavier falls up to 25 or even 30 millimetres through the Perth metro area. <clears throat> pardon me, and then falls up around the 40 to 50 millimetre mark across the southwest capes. Uh, again, it really does depend on what um, type of rainfall comes through here. It looks like this cold front is going to be a pretty stock standard one, which means rainfall accumulations will be quite robust, especially if we do get a thick band of rainfall coming in before this cold front does actually cross the coast. And then another cold front coming through. This one looks to be quite a strong one in towards late June. Uh, forecast models don't really uh, like making forecasts that far out, especially when we're talking about congruency between the major forecast models. We've kind of got nothing from the GFS and the Eastman Wave that resembles a similarity later on into the forecast period apart from a strong cold front but it definitely looks like we'll be heading into another active period out towards mid to late June in terms of cold front activity across southwestern WA and that does reflect quite well in the rainfall forecast you can see 14 day rainfall accumulations from both major forecast models looking quite healthy once again across the southwest regions of WA at least 100 millimeters coming through in the next 14 days along the south coastal regions and then falls between 25 to 75 millimeters over the next 14 days into the Perth metro area, which means it's not going to take long until we reach our monthly average rainfall accumulations for June. It's likely to happen in the wake of the significant cold front that we've just had by around mid-June at the absolute latest around the 20th of June. And if we do get some heavy rainfall in uh, that time period, we will likely be seeing some near record rainfall, at least for the uh, last couple of years. We've had a pretty dry stretch for especially May uh, and not so much June, but especially May, we've had a pretty dry start to winter or a stretch of dry starts to winter over the last couple of years. So it's good to see uh, rainfall whilst it has been late once again this year really piling on thick and fast across the southwest it'll be great to see some accumulations out into the weed bond which haven't really materialized on the forecast modeling at this point in time but for the most part we'll likely see that in the next couple of days or so uh, rainfall starting to develop into the wheat belt regions as we get out towards late June and into early July. I find rainfall is quite heavy out in the wheat belt uh, through July and into August, but for the most part, June can be a little bit of a hit and miss. And it looks like 2025 is going to present the wheat belt with a bit of a miss in terms of June rainfall accumulations. And just to touch on things up in the tropics, WA and uh, the Northern Territory, of course, dry, but a few more drops of rainfall expected up in far north Queensland. This is 14 day rainfall accumulations here from the European forecast model. Falls up around that 150 millimetre mark expected into the Daintree rainforest and the Casper Coast outside of Cairns, Ravenson, Atherton. Uh, rainfall accumulations will likely uh, continue to pile on there until at least mid July. That's when I find that the rainfall does begin to uh, pipe down a little bit for the wet season or the northern wet season. But you can see this is basically what we're expecting for the next 14 days on and off showers coming out of the southeast and that's going to prevent uh, present those rainfall accumulations into the triple figures as we get later on into the forecast period. Of course this rainfall is nothing serious we're not talking about a flooding problem up there but rainfall will continue to pile on across far north Queensland over the next couple of weeks and into probably the next month or so before rainfall fully begins to drop down in uh, July and in towards August when we'll get a couple of months of dry weather up there but exactly how the radar is looking right now a couple of showers some heavier falls here and there slow moving showers out that as well 
if we have a look at the one hour radar loop, these channels are very slow moving, that's for sure. So in times it is gonna feel like, or at times it is gonna feel like some heavy rainfall is moving through, but this is exactly what we're expecting over the next 14 days, just a few showers moving through here and there. Nothing serious and nothing that's gonna cause flooding problems, that's for sure. Anyways, on that note, I do hope everybody has a fantastic weekend this weekend. It's Saturday today. One more day to go after today. Uh, looking good, the weather, at least to the eastern coast, that's for sure. A couple of uh, spots of gnarly weather expected across the southeast and then uh, southwest and WA looking really nice this weekend as well. So the weekend weather looking great. It could be a good time to get out in the water, especially for a bit of winter boating and a bit of winter fishing across southeast Queensland and into southwest WA, that's for sure. But that is going to have to do it for today's weather forecast. A special shout out, of course, to the channel sponsors, the Dames are on screen right now and again I could not run this shot without them so their support is much appreciated but that is going to be all for me today and I'll catch you on the next storm. Goodbye.